<clears throat> Hello, Taurus. This is your reading for about mid-June, around June 20th, to, you know, the next 10 days or so for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Looking for new energies, positive energies, hopefully, for Taurus. Five-card spread. As you know, this will not resonate with all Taurus individuals, but I hope to reach as many as possible. I always look for a positive reading, but we don't get one. We work through it. You always give an honest reading also. You give the truth. In Tarot, you give the truth. You don't mess around, okay? That's what it's all about. Making a final decision towards something. Where do you want to go, Taurus? You're going to make a final decision, or it's going to be required of you to make one with the Aeon. Past position going to have to do with love and partnerships and things of that nature. Where do you want to go, Taurus? Hmm? There is change coming. You don't like the changes. Maybe that's going to occur. Maybe, you know, you may be forced to make a change and maybe you just don't know what to do with it. But it looks like you are making a final decision. And I will clarify these, as you know. And it can change up the story or make it real interesting. Coming out of hermit mode, maybe. Maybe you're tired of sitting back. Maybe you're tired of thinking to yourself. Maybe you're tired of going within and you just need to come out. And that could be what's going on. You're going to have to... Um, come out into the world and do what you need to do. It has to do with this change. What is coming towards you? The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. You may have to work real hard on the outside to get what you're wanting. You're going to have to make a decision where you want to go to make your overall wealth. Because outside environment, you know, money's a little tight for a lot of people. In the end, mmm, chains, you know. They call it the devil card, and I call it chains, and that's the way we're going to do. It's feeling chained and bound to something. Something is pushing you. It's in your head, but you're trying to come out of that situation, the current environment, because something has got you um, tied to the hip in some way to a, to a certain person or circumstances. Could have to do with work. Could have to be you're feeling like you can't break free and you're trying to break free, but it also could be that you really put your mind towards something else. But let me go back and find out for sure what's going on. Because I do see this Two of Pentacles and I do see this Ten of Pentacles. It has a lot to do with your finances. And you're trying to come out of maybe um, what's going on around you. But you need to make a final decision where you want to go with the Aeon. Okay. Now let's go back to the beginning with love. What's that, what's that about? It could be partnerships too. Or the things that you love. But I need two cards please for Taurus. Two cards. And this is your energy, you know, you know how to deal with it. Yeah, something that went amuck with the home life. And you're you're either you're wanting a new uh, emotional beginning or somebody else's that has to do with the home. And you're trying to make your home happy again when it comes to partnerships and love. Maybe you just need to make a decision on where you want to go with love. Maybe that's the change. Make a final decision so you can have love. Ah, got to check this out. Sometimes this has to do with sexuality too. We got to find out. With that ending card. But two of pentacles. There is change coming. And maybe you're resisting it for some of you. Maybe you're you maybe you're a little afraid of it for others. But it's a good card. There's nothing wrong with change. It's just that you need to make a final decision whether to make changes also. So the two of pentacles in the upright. I need two cards please. Two cards. Walking away from, yeah, you may have to walk away from something so you can go for your good fortune. So your fortune to turn around, you know, change has got to happen. So, you know, your fortune, you know, good luck comes back into your life because it's kind of stagnant now. You may have to walk away from a negative energy also. You got the hermit card in reverse. So you may be trying to come out of hermit mode or you're stuck in it. I need two more cards to find out. And that's the current environment. It may feel like Life is just blah and stagnant for some of you. Um, for some of you, you may be trying to th not think so much, but, you know, it's still happening. So the Hermit, in reverse, I need two cards, please. <clears throat> Knight of Swords. Mm. Yeah, about, you're kind of thinking a little bit too much about the Knight of Swords, <clears throat> about an ending that occurred. That's what you're, you're, you're reevaluating it over and over again. You went within with this. So what I'm seeing is that 
you may be resisting change. Maybe it's hard for you to deal with this in some way. It, you, it's already happened. If this doesn't resonate, then um, if this hasn't happened to you, then this is not your reading. But I think if you um, go with the flow and transform your life and accept the changes that are occurring, even though it's a little difficult, I know, um, you'll, luck will come back into your life. But you got to walk away from the negativity. It's what it's saying. You can't let it dwell up in you and take over your life is what it's saying. So the Ten of Pentacles on the outside, you got to work hard for the money. There's nothing wrong with that. It eventually will come in if you work hard for it. That's what it's saying. But let's find out what the Ten of Pentacles is. And it's probably the environment in itself, the way everything's been going. So the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. I need two cards, please, for Taurus. Two cards. You may be worried about the outside environment. Coming out of um, cruelty and making a final decision. The outside is the eon again. It's the outside coming towards you. What's causing all this is the outside environment is so unsure that um, people don't know what's going on. They don't know what to expect. They don't know where to do next. And um, just because the outside environment where everything's wishy-washy out there, you yourself have to take control and take over the situation and walk away from things <clears throat> that aren't working for you. So you can change your luck and don't keep on going back in the past and rehashing it because it's just going to... Um, keep you up late at night, you know, so, and, and, you know, sleepless nights, so it's up to you, but the outside environment being so wishy-washy, you need to make the changes, take on that wheel of fortune, and, and turn your luck around, so we got the devil, and I'm going to do a three-card love reading, or three, pick a pile, three-card love reading for the energy read at the end here, so we can find out what's going on with love, because this guy has a lot to do with money, too, so chains in the upright two cards please for Taurus what's going on what's that all about Ugh. yeah you're in your head about sorrow and heartbreak and you thought about it a lot you thought about it so much that um, you know it's it's taxing you it really is but it's saying that you could take a leap of faith and do a new beginning in your life but it's up to you you've got to let go of the heartbreak you've got to walk away from what um, ended for you because I do see that you had a lot of love there for somebody and it something made it unhappy something happened and now changes occurred and someone has to walk away whether you or somebody else but I'm thinking it's you because I see your luck changing if you do Come out of hermit mode. Don't think too much of an ending that had to do with the Knight of Swords, which could be an air sign, okay? The outside environment's all, you know, crazy, but you need to make a final decision what you want to do when it comes to work because you can't be um, thinking about this situation too long or it's going to um, tax your finances. So you got to make a solid um, decision where you want to go, okay? There is a truce to be had. For some of you, you may have taken a break. You feel like you need to recover still. And maybe you should for the next 10 days, but don't take too long because you need to, for your luck to change. And it will once you start getting out of this, the hermit mode and being chained to a situation that had to do with your love life. It's something that ended. There's keeps on, you know, you keep on rehashing it, trying to rehash it and thinking about it too much to where it's, you know, you're not moving, you're not going forward. So you need to go forward as hard as it sounds. I know, you know, it's but easier to set, easier said than done. But let's see what's going on with your love life. This got to do with your finances. You have to do with money, you know, like career and stuff. But um, it could have to do with love, but that's also partnerships. So let me do a three card, three pile love reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising. That wants to come out. I'll put it aside. I want three other cards. Three cards for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's see. Then I'll get three cards from the 8th House Tarot. I'm going to put this right here. We're going to use it. Maybe for all three. At least the main one is the first one, right? Three cards from the 8th House Tarot. The, hate, um, the House of Secrets and Sexuality. And, you know. And, uh... The other people's money, but we're looking for love when it comes to this. So I need three cards for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising for June 20th. But the cards know the dates. You need to know something about love. What's going on with Taurus?
And I'll put three cards for the Twin Flame. It may go with these cards, or it's just, you know, for those that want a Twin Flame message. So, a lot of times it resonates for someone that's got a Twin Flame thing going on. For others, it will be a future Twin Flame, possibly. But this is for Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, starting June 2020. For love. I need three cards, please. See what's going on here. <clears throat> now pick a pile and see what you want. What resonates with you, what you feel compelled to. But I bring them all together at the end anyway, because that's just the way I do. It's the way I read. And because they're all kind of interconnected. But the first one will be the strongest for you, okay? What you should be doing. You will get success. With someone you felt maybe did you wrong with the Seven of Swords, you will get success. So don't... Um, worry about what people have done to you. I know, again, e easier said than done. Yeah, things will be changing with, for you for the next few weeks. We are having that eclipse. I'm going to give uh, an eclipse reading or what's going to be occurring in the next, um, you know, six months because all the retrogrades. A lot of things are changing, and we did see change there, and you may be resisting it. If you're dealing with a twin flame, it says, I know I screwed things up. And honestly, had no idea how to fix it. Yeah, they know they screw things up and they don't know what to do about it. It's a Seven of Swords energy. Someone did something underhanded for some of you. You may have done this to somebody, just a few of you. But I do see you gaining success, even though someone really messed you over when it comes to love, especially in the next few weeks. There are helpful people. If you are struggling, there are helpful people out there. Realize that they are trying to help you, that not everyone's against you. You do have friends, but, you know, um, go to them for help and, and be honest with them when you do need help. Um, they can't read your mind, some of them. Some, some can, but you get, um, even if they do, you got to approach them and say, I need help. Uh, I need my friends. And um, you get the nine of fire, so you're going to get a lot of strength back when you people help you. If you ask for help, they will help you regain your strength. Um, if you're dealing with a twin flame in this section, I've looked you up online. Oh, they're stalking you online. They're looking at you. They're seeing what you're doing, what you're up to. Yeah, they're spying on you a little. And, you know, everybody does that a little bit in past relationships, or most people do. Get more information. There's something missing out there you're not hearing about, okay? So, I don't know what it is. It'll be different for each and every tourist. But if you're unsure about something, go for the information and ask. Ask your friends. Maybe they know. Or people around you. It may not even be your friends. It could be just someone may give you more information. I, I'm not supposed to go back to. I'm not supposed to bring them all together yet. But you got the Ten of Air. You're going to be ending a negative situation with the Ten of Swords. That's a Ten of Swords energy. And if it's, you're dealing with a... Uh, twin flame it's easier just to stay out of the way right now yeah they're, they're just you know they're watching you online but they're staying away at the same time they're watching you like crazy and all this um you're going to be dealing with a new love situation or possibly meeting somebody in the next few weeks for all of you if you bring this all together but right now you're dealing with a seven of swords energy you will have success even though someone really uh messed you over they really you know took advantage and they know they screwed things up. They know and they just don't know how to fix it because maybe you confronted them and you're like, can you believe it? If you're having troubles right now, go to people around you. Go to friends. Um, go to family. Go to other people that, you know, maybe counseling even. Maybe you're struggling. Because I do see um, you having trouble coming out of something. But if you do, if you go to the people that can help you, you can come out of it. And you will regain strength. Um and you realize that someone is watching you online. They are really watching you. So get more information because uh, there's something going on that you don't know about. And it may help you feel better about the whole thing when you do move on. Because you're going to see where someone betrayed you in a lot of, in many ways. And so you, you will find out that, you know, you were right, you know, the whole time. And they're trying to stay out of your way, but they're watching at the same time. But you will be do, dealing with somebody, possibly a new love, within the next few weeks. You may be ending this situation. Things will improve in the next few weeks. If you go for friends for help, and if you change your luck around, if you walk away from negative situations, and don't keep on rehashing you know, the ugly that happened in your life. Because you, you're better than that, Taurus. You really are. So this is your reading. I will upload it soon. And yeah, they are watching you. You're right. So it could be also, you know, if you're dealing with another, if this has to do with the other person you are dealing with also, they could be like really watching you, obsessed with that. So, you know, you know watching you. They're, they're probably doing it at night because I see that seven, you know, seven of swords, a cruelty card there. They call it the nine of swords. Um, 
in reverse. They're trying to come out of that and they haven't, they themselves haven't made a final decision, but they just don't know how to face you after what happened. Whatever it is, it'll be different for everybody. But let this go, Taurus. I'll talk to you later. Bye.